Ravens versus Cowgirls. So we played last week. We played on a Wednesday. Very weird. Now we're playing on a Tuesday. But I had the Ravens winning 35 to 10. This game is going to be interesting. We can Calais back. We can Brandon Williams back. They said they, they both practicing. So hopefully they'll be back in this game. Then as well. Lamar Jackson is coming back. Matter of fact, I think we got some footage of Lamar Jackson driving to the castle. Check it out. So Lamar Jackson, man, it's going to be a good game. It's going to be a good end. And people know I do not like the cowgirls. Mm. Can't stand them. It's just something about just, oh, I guess it's just because I was born and raised in Dallas, Texas, and I'm just surrounded by their fans, just delusional. But this game, Ravens going to win 35 to 10. I gave the cowgirls 10 points. Give me some credit. Um, but our offense, man, we're ranked right now, I believe it's 30th. Um, run game, you already know our run game is on point, mainly with Slicer coming back. J, JK, I went uh, Gus gonna be on, uh, even JK might be on that, might run some people over. It's gonna be interesting. Um, defense. Now, defense, they're going to have their hands full. And I'm not, well, Ezekiel Elliott, I'm, I believe they're going to make him fumble. But the thing about the defense is Cowboys have some very, very good wide receiver. Michael Gallup, which I was hoping to be a Raven. Uh, Amari Cooper, C.D. Lamb. And... I don't know who they're going to put who on, you know, uh, because I know if Marlon Humphrey is on Amari Cooper, Amari Cooper is going to get quit. He's just going to quit. If he he doesn't get no balls thrown his way for a certain amount of time or he just can't make anything happen, this dude literally just quit. He'll go on the sideline and pout. Um, man, it's going to be interesting to see who's going to be on Gallup because I know boy MP Juice man he haven't he haven't had an interception yet but in a good minute but it's come I don't know I know he I know I know he going to pick somebody he got he have to pick some he have to make an interception this game he has to it's it's, it's way overdue it is way overdue and then we all oh, Calais Campbell and Brandon Williams back in this piece. Been missing them. Even though the run game haven't been really getting our uh run defense haven't really been getting torched that that bad. But it's great to have them back. That that brings more pressure. So the Ravens wide receiver. And if they put Hollywood, if the Cowboys put Diggs on Hollywood, I know Hollywood got a, he got a, he got a torch him. He got a torch. But G Row, he's not opening up that that man route tree. He's he's more than just a, a straight up throw down the field. You know that's I don't. That's just me. It's, uh, he's holding them back. Being as well, they not even passing it to Mr. Mr. X. There's Bryant. I don't I don't know why. I just 
game after the game, he's out there five to eight yards. The cornerback is staying back, but they pray like I told my boy Engraving. They press in Hollywood, but they're not pressing Dez because they know what Dez could manhandle them. He's literally the only Raven wide receiver that can. If you really think about it, what other Raven wide receiver that you know can manhandle a person like Dez can? Matter of fact, a uh, coach, shout out to Coach Sip, Sip to Tally. He showed it in his film. Just throw it up to Dez. Dez can adjust to the ball. I don't think we have any wide receivers that can do that. Now, I know Mark Andrews can. Mark Andrews is not going to play this game. But I think that's it, really. Of course, our wide receivers that can adjust to the ball. Yeah, I think Dez is pretty much it. I've seen him do it. Actually, I seen him when uh, was that we were playing the Titans. Lamar was running to the right. He broke pocket, running to the right, trying to make a play. And Dez ran his route. Then he came toward Lamar to get more open. Lamar threw it, and Dez got that first down with some extra yardage. Only one that did that. It's, it's, it's good and it's depressing at the same time. Even Des Bryant said in his um, press conference that he has no grudge against the Cowgirls. He just, um, he said Cowboys, but you know. But, um, yeah, he, he has no grudge against him. He's not taking his game personal. And I, and I believe him. I know some people are like, man, he just saying. He it's been about what two three years since he being cut from them. That that's old news now. He's on a team that has a better record than them, better possibility of making the playoffs than them. So it is. But hopefully they let Dez do his thing. Start giving him some more chances. Give him them jump balls. Give him them red zones, man. Show everybody in the league he still got it. Then that'll open up the gates for every every other player. That'll open up the gates for a boy James Prochet. And he's been under Des Brian Wing. I'm talking every time I see on the sideline, I see pictures in practice. James Prochet is like under Des Bryant. That says a lot. Okay, he can be James. He he got he has the hands. He's not fast. Chris route running like this. Just saying. We we don't know if he has the dog in him yet because they ain't really giving him a chance. But then talk about the defense. They gonna make some fumbles, cause right now Ezekiel Elliott is leading the league in fumbles. So that's a gimme. You know, that's a gimme. He can still be a threat though. But yeah, I'm expecting some fumbles. I'm expecting some picks this game. Mainly with um Lamar back. Now hopefully uh G Row don't just have him trying to throw everything. Because deep the, the Cowboys defense is very weak in that run. If old boy watch it, I can't think of his name. The boy with the running back that ate him up. You know JK can do it. You know Gus can do it. And I'm expecting a highlight reel from Lamar in this game. Like he did at Cincinnati last year. That little spin. I'm expecting something big. A big run from him or something. Because they going to get caught slipping. Cause uh, what's that little pass rusher? Um, what's that D Law? I think that's his name. Got all that money, haven't did nothing. But yeah, that's my prediction, y'all. I just ran, but a little bit. But I'm just saying. So I should I said Cowboys for you Cowboy fans. I I said I stopped calling them Cowgirl. I gave him a little respect. Give me some credit on that. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button. Come on now. But 
Everybody stay safe. Once again. And score 35 Ravens, Cowboys, 10. Have a good one.